guys know Broadway reports. Soaring house prices are putting valuable amenities at risk. In sought after residential areas, schools which depend on this land are losing out as developers buy up their valuable sports fields. Sports is a huge part of my life. I think it makes a big difference to get these pitches taken away from us. In Ireland, we do have an obesity problem. We want children to be doing more sports. Yes, we're willing to have schools that have absolutely no green space. If we build on every green patch we have, what's left? Where are the kids going to go to play? Clonkeen College in Blackrock County, Dublin is one of the few non-fee-paying boys schools in South County, Dublin. The Christian Brothers School, which is run by the Edmund Rice Trust, we're shocked to learn last month that there are plans by the brothers to sell seven and a half acres around their school to a building developer for a reported 18 million euro. The Christian brothers say they need to sell the land to meet their financial obligations under the redress scheme and to look after retired members of the community. Pupils and parents from the school are shocked by the plans. We currently have three pitches in Clonkeen. One pitch is, is the most that is going to be left. We have got, you know, 550 boys to get a full PE curriculum onto that one pitch for five days a week. I play for Cooters GA Club in Stanley. Oh, yeah. And we play Hurling Gate there. And then it's such a pleasure to come back to the school and play with your classmates. I think it's a different atmosphere playing with your classmates and out on our own pitches, especially their home matches as well. Younger students coming in first year now, it's a, it's a big thing. I know when I was coming into school in sixth class that uh, the pitches in Clonkeen, they're just actually being done up and they're really, it was a big attraction. And now if we come into school, it's, uh, we're seeing the restrictions that could be set in place, it's, uh, it is a big factor. I'm just shocked because we just use them so often. The cooler boys from Dorky were the better team in the first half. I seen off, the team captain did a fine marking job on Nile DC. Oshin Goff is the captain of the Kula hurling team, who earlier this year won the All-Ireland club title in Crow Park. He is also a former pupil of Clonkeen College. He says that the school plays an important role in supporting GAA in Dublin. Clonkeen is playing a massive role now. It's, uh, it seems to be very popular with a lot of lads from my local club, Kula. Um, a lot of Kula lads are coming here playing hurling and football and going right up through the ranks with uh, Dublin underage teams. I hope that we get enough of a, a groundswell of emotion to, to, to try to hold on to the fields because they are a vital resource for, for all the local children. Um, I, I can't say enough about how much these fields uh, play a part in every kid's development. To take that away would be uh, a massive disappointment. The school is upset that the decision to sell the land was made without their knowledge. Well, the Edmund Rice Schools Trust said they were powerless in this in relation to this deal, and they said that they uh, couldn't actually talk to us over the past 12 months because they had signed the confidentiality agreement. We shared the same site, and uh, dating back to 2006, there were plans in place by the Christian Brothers to actually sell off a portion of our lands. But out of that uh, proposal came a deal between the school and the congregation of Christian Brothers that the Edmund Rice Schools Trust building and an acre of land behind it will be sold, but that our playing fields would always be for the use of the school as long as there was a school in existence. However, the Christian Brothers told Primetime that their contemporaneous notes of discussions and licensing agreements from 2006 made clear that there was no such agreement. The Brothers also point out that there are approximately 20 acres of local authority publicly owned green space located across the road from the college. The Christian Brothers have also agreed to pay the school 1.3 million euro from any payout from the deal, but the school is hoping that a different resolution can be reached. We're hoping for a solution to this. We're hoping that the deal will be called off. We're hoping that alternatives will be looked at. We would sincerely hope that the Department of Education could step in and provide us with some solutions. Certainly we'd be open to the idea of going back to previous arrangements where the state would actually take ownership of lands in lieu of any outstanding funds for redress boards or compensatory funds. But at the end of the day, the solution lies with the government, the Congregation of the Christian Brothers, the Edmund Rice Schools Trust and the developer. And we are waiting with bated breath, hoping that a solution will come.
The Edmund Rice Trust told Primetime that a decision to sell seven and a half acres of land to Boston College is the sole responsibility of the Christian Brothers as owners of the land, and that the Trust has given limited information about the sale and has given an undertaking to maintain confidentiality prior to being given them. While Clonkeen are still hoping for a resolution, another school in South Dublin fears it may be too late to save their land. Our Ladies Grove Primary and Secondary School in Goatstown, Dublin, has recently seen 5.8 acres up for sale. This is in addition to a development of 48 homes that have also been sold by the Sisters of Jesus and Mary, who own the school. Do you think, can I stop now? The congregation no. says the decision oh, was made continue. in the absence of unanimous agreement with the stakeholders sure. regarding the future of the sure. lands. Hold it. Yeah, right. Lisa Ryan has two children attending the primary school and a third child starting in September. So we're using that land since the 60s continuously until 2011-2012 when it was suddenly fenced off. But it was always used for playing hurling, for GAA, um, for any kind of ball sports and also for sports day. I think most parents are, are just concerned for their children as well. They like to see their children being able to play, being able to do sports. Hmm? As a parents' association in the school, they run an awful lot of uh, children's activities, but they're mainly on the tarmac yard or in the, in the school hall. It really changes the shape of the school from being one that was a school with a green field beside it that children could play on and could, could actually be used constructively to one that is now a school that's going to be penned in by 150 houses with a concrete yard in front of it. A sold sign has gone up outside the school. The Congregation of the Religious of Jesus and Mary say they will transfer ownership of a neighbouring Greenfield site to the primary school, but parents are hoping for more. The two pieces of land that were sold is the big 5.8 acres of land, and there was a tiny strip um, next to the yard of the school that was purchased as well, and I believe um, that some of that, the, the small strip, um, may be retained by the primary school. Um, but as a parent, you know, of course it's welcome, but that's part of the schoolyard anyway, so you really expect that that would stay with the school in any case. Um, if what we're really interested is in the playing field at the back. The Congregation of the Religious of Jesus and Mary also told Primetime that from proceeds of the sale, the order is funding the development of an AstroTurf pitch for the secondary school and a €100,000 contribution for primary school equipment. But schools in places where land prices are soaring are vulnerable for development. In Dunleary Rathdown alone, 93 out of 105 schools have their land zoned A, which means that they could be protected and or improved as a residential amenity. Now schools and parents say these lands should be protected from use as residential developments. Our fields are zoned recreational residential, which provides for numerous amenities. And it's actually crucial in relation to the extension you see behind me. Had we not got residential uh, status, it would actually prohibit us from adding on the extension, for example, to our school. However, it's, in our opinion, it's very important that the, the lands for playing fields are no longer zoned residential, that they become open space, and that these lands are protected. Dunmere Rathdown County Council told Primetime that they are discussing the issue next Monday night and could not comment until after that meeting. The Department of Education told Primetime that any proposed transfer of ownership or patronage of a school is a matter in the first instance for the current patron of that school. However, any change of patronage will not affect the issue of ownership. And with property prices going only one way for the foreseeable future, it seems that more and more schools across the country will be under pressure as builders eye up their land for development. We need to get this either stopped or... A compromise of some description. It does not need to be the size that it is. And, and this is why there is such anger and, and determination to do something. That was that